Okay, uh, so I'm going to start the head model. So uh, let us uh, take some reference image. So you can go to the uh, Microsoft Bing search engine. So you can get a lot of reference images to keyword head reference images. So let me take uh, this one. So this have uh, good front end side. Take such a uh, reference image, you should have proper front end side. And you can download that and go to the Maya and you can bring to the front end side. So Maya have and front end side to so, uh, enable the grid. This is your interface of the Maya. <clears throat> so through image blend. So this is the button you can see. This is the image blend. And you can bring that image so head reference so i'll just scale the things a little bigger so this is the grid size so okay that's fine so uh this is my side view so bring your side head to the center of the grid so this is your center of the grid, you can see. This thick line is the 0, 0, you can see. Okay. So now, uh, I'll duplicate Control D. And uh, make it 0, rotated Y. So got the another image plane. So you need not bring again from the image plane. Okay, you can just duplicate and uh, keep this one a uh, center of the grid okay but this grid is not seen so what you can do is just move the image plane towards back so you can see the grid yeah same thing this one also you should move now grid is not seen so move towards back so your grids will be seen so keep this area empty because you are going to uh, work on that area means you are going to make model so keep this center area empty. So now this one check it out. It is in the front exactly as yes, this thick line you can see. It is exactly center. So now what is the next? So take one Q. Go to the shell polygon model. Polygon model. Create on Q. And uh, make the Q value match to the head. So now the grid is not necessary once it is in this plane is done. So now you can uh, hide this also. Okay. So using M4 wireframe, 5 is set in the 4 mode, you can keep it will be easily seen. So let it this one in shaded mode, right? So keep the volume correctly. So use the vertex mode. So you can adjust exactly what is the maximum volume. This much is fine. Okay. So this is your side view volume. The front view check it out. Image plane is not matching. Right. So what you should do? Move the image plane correctly. Now it is correct. Okay. So what you should do? Side. Uh, okay, fine. So this is fine. Okay. This is front value and this is side value. Mm -hmm. This is the perspective. Mm -hmm. Go for mesh smooth. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's press it. This will be the <coughs> chin part, and this will be your jaw. And this is the eye part. I think uh, you can go for one more smooth. <coughs> this is not enough to have number of. Don't don't have enough vertices to address exactly. 
So what you should do again, go for smooth. So what will happen? It will become more round. Okay. And get enough points for the things. You can see. So this is very easiest method. So you can scale it fine. This side you can see almost fine. So what you should do? Neck part you have to create. Okay. So for neck part, you can delete all the things. All right. Look at your head it goes like this and it ends here. So you can delete the things. So this is your head back side. So next starts from here. So while tweaking, you tweak the bunch of vertices. So now to create. So this is the chin and this is the chin. I think almost done. Okay. Not much tweaking required because initially you are just recognizing. Okay, fine. So this side also uh, okay. So you have what you have to do some if you want to use mirror, it is off. Then when tweaking, only this side will happen. So always use mirror. Okay. So object x, this is x axis. So this is x axis you can see. Okay. So now you can see both sides is happening. Right. It's fine. Okay. So matching, you can see tracing. This is traced. So uh, still you need more points to do exact pressing. So we'll go for one more small. So almost you can see it'll get nice round face head model. Very base you can see. And just you go for small small tweaking. So now you can't do the like this so it will damage. Okay. So what you should do is you use the soft selection. Hold B. Uh, press B, you can see the soft selection. Hold B, you can increase the size of the area which is affected. So, if you use small area, then that area only will affect. So, what you can do, a little more increase. So, surrounding vertices also. So, it will be easy to do it. It's very good to This will be a little more. So exactly prestation. Yes, side and front is true. Maybe this part. So I'll just take bunch of it. So surrounding so it will not damage. So you see nice round. Okay. So you can see top, you can see front and bottom everywhere. You can see it is rounded. So now what will be the next step? Okay. So first part is over. So you can this also you can see. You have to wait. You know, I guess, yes. So it is coming like this, and second going down. So this is the part. Right. So now what is the next step? So what is the next step? What you have to do? Uh, you have to make the mouth circuit. So it starts from here. Okay. And uh, maybe you have to create mouth circuit like this. And you have to create the eyes of it. Okay, so this is your middle line. So this flow you have to maintain, and this maybe one more uh, nose line you have to create. Okay, so like that. So how to do that? We'll see. So I'll 